Can you please introduce yourself? I'm Lainey Rich. Um, where do you live? I'm in Chicago, in the Chicago. And how old are you? I'm 45 years old. Could you give me three words that best describe yourself? I'm fun, I'm caring, and um, I'm honest. Okay. And what was your first initial thought when you got diagnosed? diagnosed? Fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? I was completely freaked out. Uh, my mom had passed away from ovarian cancer when I was only 17 and she was 43. And I completely froze and I was numb and fucking scared. I was 32 years old. I had a two-year-old two and a four-month-old. And I saw what my mom had gone through and I know the pain that we all have experienced and the pain of the loss of my mom and I didn't want that to be my children and it was just um, I was scared. Yeah. Yeah. And how has cancer changed your outlook in life? Um I think it's just, you know, definitely appreciate every day that you have. Not every day is going to be perfect, but just got to be grateful that you're, you're alive and that you're here and that you're able to experience life events. My son just had his bar mitzvah and, you know, graduations. My mom wasn't there for any of it. So just appreciate that I'm still alive. Yeah. And what advice would you give to a newly diagnosed cancer patient? Just, you know, you got to go day by day. You're kind of fighting a war and you're in the trenches and you just have to go day by day and say you have like four chemos to do after the first chemo, then you say three more. And you just got to hang in there. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster. You're not going to feel great, but just, just take it day by day and just Try to do the best you can. Do what's right for you. Don't, you know, feel like you have to act a certain way. Just do what's good for you. Were there any positive things that came out of your experience? Not really. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, I, I mean, pos yeah. I don't know. Just like I said, just, you know, appreciate that you're alive and, you know, that you're healthy and you know, if you don't have your health, then you really don't have much. So just appreciation um, and live each day to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there anything else that you'd like to share about your journey or experience? It's a tough journey. I still, you know, get freaked out at times if something's not, you know, if something is like I have a headache or something and I automatically go like it's brain cancer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's hard to to um, erase those words when you get that phone, you know, you have cancer and it just kind of, Im it's embedded in you. So that's still, you know, it's still, it still creeps up on me at times, even though it's been 13 years. Um, but, you know, I made it, I did what I had to do and I did uh, the most, you know, extreme things that I could do in, in terms of my treatment and you just gotta do whatever you have to do to survive. Thank you.